Okay. Let me make sure you are pinned here. Spotlight for everyone. There we go. So thank you for joining us today at Jolt International 2020. I'm James and please welcome uh, Sachi Oshima. And she is going to be talking about four steps to realizing an English presentation. Um, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining my session. Uh, my name is Sachi Oshima, and I'm working as a research fellow at the Tsuda University, Tokyo. And I'm also working at several university in Tokyo area as a part-time lecturer. And today I will talk about four steps to realize an English presentation. In this presentation, I would like to introduce my attempt held at the Tsuda University in 2018. Now I would like to share my slides. So, okay, can you see this one? Uh, so four steps to realize an English presentation. The content of my presentation is, so first I will talk about the background of this project and secondly, I would like to explain why I chose TVLT, task-based language teaching, as an approach to teach my student. And then today's focus, I will explain in detail about process to create an English presentation using TVLT. More specifically, as the title of this presentation suggested, I will explain the four steps which I set for the student. Finally, I will talk about the result and discussion, uh, discuss the effectiveness of TBLT in having my student make an English presentation. Also, I would like to take some time for Q&A at the end of my session. So first, let me start from the background. In April 2018, Tsuda University and Ida City in Nagano Prefecture made a partnership agreement. So the university have made a partnership agreement with several city and organization in Japan so that the student can be involved in field study and practically learn and experience the regional revitalization, which is one of the important issues in Japan today. Ida City is one of our partners. In Ida City, the year 2018, it was a very special year because the World Puppet Festival and the Abiyama Journal Assembly. Abiyama means uh, International Association of Puppet Friendly City. So it was held uh, during August. The Abiyama Journal Assembly was our international conference held once a year, and the Ida City hosted the assembly for the first time in 2018. In 2018, Abiyama Assembly, representatives who are mainly the professional of the puppet theater from 16 cities from eight country or region attended. For this special occasion, what to the student were expected to do was making an English presentation at the opening reception. Talking about myself a little bit, uh, in 2018, I was of course working as an English teacher at the Tsuda University, but before that, I had worked as a chief officer at the Japan Foundation, which is a governmental organization in charge of intercultural exchange project. So I experienced the performing arts project before, for example, sending Japanese artists to overseas or inviting foreign artists here in Japan. Therefore, I can teach English and also at the same time, I had a kind of knowledge in theaters, which made me involved in the teaching students in this project. Now, I would like to talk about the rationale, why I chose TVLT. According to Elise and Shintani, task-based language teaching aims to develop learners' communicative competence by engaging them in meaningful communication through the performance of tasks. And also Van den Blanden says task-based language teaching is defined as an approach to language education in which students are given functional tasks 
that invited them to focus primarily on meaning exchange and to use language for real world non linguistic purposes. And it suggested the criteria for defining a tasks, task. So first, the primary focus should be on meaning. Secondly, there should be some kind of gap. For example, there is a need to convey information to others. Thirdly, learners largely rely on their own resources in order to complete the activity. Lastly, there is a clearly defined outcome other than the use of language. So language serves as a means for achieving the outcome. Then, can the English presentation at Abiyama Assembly be a task? So let's check by using these criteria. First, the primary focus should be on meaning. Yes, what the student have to focus on is not language, but the content of the presentation. And secondly, there should be some kind of gap. Of course, yes, students have to make a presentation and convey their meaning to the audience. Thirdly, learners should largely rely on their own resources in order to complete the activity. Again, yes, the students have to learn by themselves in order to create an English presentation. Lastly, there is a clearly defined outcome other than the use of language. Definitely, yes, the defined outcome is English presentation at the conference and English was used as a means for achieving the outcome. Therefore, considering the English presentation as a task for the student, the teacher, which means I, set the four steps. So four steps to create an English presentation. At first, regarding the participants, we called for the participant in April 2018 just after the partnership agreement between Tsuda University and Ida City, the requirements for the participant were the participants are going to visit and stay for about three days in Ida City in August 2018 and interact with a representative from eight countries of regions and make a group presentation in English which is to introduce the puppet theater in 16 cities, eight country or region at the reception party of the international conference. And after about several weeks in June 2018, 12 students voluntarily participated in this project. Nine students majored in social science and three students majored in English. Nine students and three students are studying at the different location, different campuses. So we had online meetings, used email and also live messages for the communication. The reason they, why they participated in this project is, as you can see the slide right now, the first reason is I'm interested in regional revitalization. And second reason are their interest in performing arts and also they want to use English for real world purposes. And uh, maybe the interest in regional revitalization became farce is, which is partly because the majority of the participants measured in social science and they seem to be familiar to this issue. Now, I would like to explain four steps. I designed these four steps so that all four skills, reading, writing, and listening and speaking were integrated to accomplish the task, which means the English presentation. And let me explain one by one. Step one. Developing the background knowledge. Background knowledge can be also said as schema developing, and it refers to prior knowledge that leader utilize in interpreting the text. The researchers suggested that 
Without background knowledge, it would be impossible to even approximate the writer's intended message. Also, in listening, without this prior knowledge, comprehension is often impossible. As I mentioned, no student major in performing arts. The student did not have knowledge on puppet theater. Therefore, I thought it is necessary to develop their background knowledge first. I arranged two opportunities for my student. First, visiting the traditional puppet theater company called Ishiza, and a student experience how to, how to use the puppet and how to play and manipulate the puppet. And also they had the interviews, the executives of the Japan Modern Puppet Theater, which is a public organization which deal with uh, puppet theater all over the Japan and also in a foreign country. And then the step two, conducting a research. I told each of 12 students to become a member of two or three study groups, which corresponded to 16 city. The students started research on puppet theaters in each city. According to the post presentation questionnaire, all students answered that they read English sources on the internet. In other words, in order to accomplish the task, they had to read English very, very intensively. Next, step three, writing and revising a script of presentation. Student teacher, which is me, went through the process shown on the screen. First, based on their research, each study group, which means the student in each group, wrote a draft and made PowerPoint slides to introduce each city. Then the teacher, I checked each group's draft and PowerPoint slide and gave a comment and feedback. After that, the student revised their draft and the PowerPoint slide of each city and again, go back to the teacher's role. So I checked each group draft and PowerPoint slide one more time and give a feedback. Sometimes we repeated this procedure several times depending on the, each study group. And finally, we combined all the draft into one long script. Also, we combined all the PowerPoint slide into one. After combining all the draft into one long script, we used this one, Google Doc, and edit one long script together. As I mentioned, some students are located in one campus and other students are located in another campus and also teachers are located in somewhere else. So we connected by the Google Doc and we could edit one long script together. Finally, step four, practicing. Among 12 students, five students raised their hand and voluntarily became presenters. These five presenters practiced speaking and making a presentation in English. Other students became the audience and listened to the presentation and gave a feedback. If there were some words or phrases unclear or unnatural from the listener's point of view, we revise the script. So, presenter making the presentation, other student can be a listener and give the feedback and revise and go back to practice one more time. So we repeat this procedure also several times. So far, I introduced the four steps and in order to complete that task, the student had to read, had to read various English references, had to write script in English, had to listen to and speak English while practicing the presentation. Then the presentation day result and discussion. The presentation in other words, task has successfully completed a lot of positive comments were given by the audience. 
And now I would like to share the video, uh, which is a very short version, about three minutes long. And as I mentioned, this is a reception party. So you will hear some noise, but at the same time, you can understand how the audience react to the presentation. So now I would like to share the YouTube video and it would be appreciated if you could watch a for about three minutes. So now I'm start. Hello, we are students of Tsudai University in Tokyo. It takes about four hours by bus from our school to get here, Iida. We are the ones who are fascinated with this puppet festival, especially with such many puppet performances coming from all over the world. On behalf of our university, we would like to welcome you here today. Here, we are looking forward to finding some hints which are useful more active collaboration between puppet cities. So, let's enjoy puppet journey with Paul, who is the mascot of Ida Puppet Festival. And let's find some seeds for further development in the puppet's future together. The first city is Charleville Mejel. Charleville Mejel is located in the north of France. It is a commune which was made a great success by puppetry collaboration. It's Asia, a region where puppet culture collaborates with modern technologies like Antonai and their popular amenities. Let's check it out. Kunlin and Kaohsiung. in Kaohsiung City are well known for their puppet culture in Taiwan. Their puppet shows are referred to as Bu Tai Shi, Bu De Hi, and Pi In Shi. Let's find out about their characteristics. Puppets in Taiwan has a long history. It has started when the Chinese imperial examination a selection scheme to become a civil servant was still in practice. Wu Tai Shi, Wu De Hi was studied. To make this presentation, we have done some research on puppet culture and we have gradually come up with a question in our mind. What kind of puppet culture is needed? to satisfy the demand of people in modern society. As what we have introduced so far, puppet shows can be tourist attractions in many places, but it is not only tourist attractions of puppet and puppet shows. Being part of modern society, we believe that puppet shows can touch people's hearts as long as they can reflect the unique culture and social background of our times. Also, puppet fans like us will continue to support the puppet shows. We hope that our presentation would be the seeds for further development in puppet's future. Thank you for listening. Okay. So let me go back to my slides. This is a final section. So, uh, so these are the presentation. The post presentation questionnaire showed that students high degree of satisfaction. Among nine respondents, eight students answered very satisfied or satisfied. It was true that one student answered unsatisfied, only one, but one so was due to her high motivation because in her comment, she said, uh, I could have deepened the content more. I could have practiced speaking more. So looking at that comment, it can be interpreted that her answer was due to high, high target or high motivation. In addition, the student reported that they want to be involved in other projects and participated in more opportunity to communicate with foreign people. 
And at the end, I would like to share one of the student comment in the post presentation questionnaire. So here is one uh, comment from one student. Based on the research I could talk with a professional puppet theater, gain new findings and learn more about other countries, all of which are very meaningful for me. I want to participate in this kind of intercultural exchange project again. It was a real experience for me to visit Ishiza, traditional puppet company, in a file preparing our presentation. I could learn a lot of things such as how to research, how to make a presentation, and how to attend it to the guest. So in conclusion, I can say that TBLT is effective to encourage the student to be actively involved in each of these four steps and create and realize English communication. For the process, students could utilize all of the full skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing for a real world purpose and accomplish the task, English presentation. Although it was conducted as an extracurricular activity outside of the daily classroom lesson, but I, I hope my presentation is gonna be some hint for you to conduct how to make a presentation for the student. So here is a reference of my uh, presentation and that's all for, that's all. So thank you very much for the listening and I would like to welcome any question from you. Thank you very, very much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Sachi, uh, if I may call you that. Uh, that was a very interesting presentation and some great performances by your students. Thank you for, for showing us the, the students in action. Uh, yes, I would like to open up the floor to any questions. We have about four minutes left. If anybody has questions, feel free to ask in chat or with your microphones on. Okay, thank you very much. So I would like to share my slide for the literature. Okay. Yep. So here is the references. And first two literature is about mainly about the task based language learning and the third one globus one is about the reading. And the fourth one Richard and birds are mainly about the listening. Okay, if there is any question, I cannot see the chatting right now. So would you let me know? Mm, yep, there's no questions in chat right now. Okay, in that case, I will stop the recording now. Um, just before we do that, uh, I'd just like to say thank you once again uh, to Sachi Oshima for her presentation and everybody if you'd like to show your appreciation with a, a clap or a round thank of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming and listening to my presentation. I really appreciate it. Thank you.